mosquitoes that transmit malaria are evolving resistance to our insecticides. But how does this resistance happen? Every living thing is different, and these differences can be seen in their DNA. Differences in DNA affect how things look on the outside, and can also lead to subtle differences in their biology on the inside. DNA gets copied as it's passed down from parent to child, but small mistakes in the copying process, called mutations, make the child's DNA subtly different from their parents. So no two individuals will ever have exactly the same DNA. Small differences in DNA can sometimes give an individual traits that make them more likely to survive, and so are more likely to pass on their DNA to their offspring. The individuals with the most successful traits will become more common over time as they are selected again and again in each new generation. Natural selection is making the fight against malaria even tougher. Mosquitoes are evolving resistance to our insecticides. Every time we use insecticides against a mosquito population, most of them will die, but the ones that survive will pass on their resistance mutations to their offspring. Over time, resistance will become more common, making insecticides less effective at killing each new generation. So how can we stop resistance from spreading? Monitoring the DNA of mosquito populations means that we can see when and where new mutations are appearing, helping to create a bigger picture of the landscape of resistance. This helps us to make timely decisions and to better target our attempts to halt resistance before it's too late.